So I just caught this new show on Max or HBO or whatever you want to call it, The Franchise, and I think it's going to get a swift kick to the groin. Now here I am, a reviewer of movies and things, and minding my own business while I get an advertisement for the franchise. An incredible, hilarious spoof of tentpole franchise uh, movies, like superhero movies. And guess what I just so happened to review, which is superhero movies and Star Wars stuff and obviously big franchises, right? So I figured, well, this might be, you know, right up my alley. And, um, you know, maybe it'll be funny. It'll be a dark comedy. It'll be, you know, something. And, and Sam Mendes is attached to it. whoop to woo And they're going to spoof WB or Warner Brothers. And they're going to spoof. Uh, in fact, they even have a Warner Brothers. They're clearly on a Warner Brothers backlot. There's a Warner Brothers logo at some point there. And, um... <clears throat> I thought it was going to be more like uh, the Hugh Laurie show, the Planet Nine, or, or um, the spaceship that 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 that's a, like a cruise ship that's out orbiting the uh, our solar system. I forget what it's called, but it's not Planet. But it was also on Max, and it got canceled. But I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so here I am. I see the advertising. I'm like, eh, I guess I'll give it a shot. And then I see all these articles, and, and uh, let's just get right into it. By the way, if you like what we talk about here, please like and subscribe. It helps. You have no idea how much it helps. Just that little thumbs up, little subscribey wibby. It means a lot to us. Anyway, the franchise kicks off kicking superhero movies in the crotch. Now, what you have to remember is I, I'm a big MCU guy, but like the first 10 years of the MCU, everything they make now is schlock and garbage and this is basically a reflection of that garbage so it's not the interesting filmmaking they even have a line in it where they're like everything connects and the big plot that goes on in this first episode is they're making this movie and they don't give you any you have no idea what's going on you have no they don't care the movie is is second place it's irrelevant to what's going on you're following the first assistant director around as he tries to wrangle everybody and he tries to wrangle the director and blah, 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 blah. But they have like, I don't know if he's a Kevin Feige character or if he's mixed together, but he's like a studio executive guy. And he's like, everything has to fit together. And they just film finished filming a movie that's supposed to happen right before this movie. And that movie eliminated a whole section of this guy's movie. And they decided to... Do something different. So now everything fits together. You have to make a big change. And that's a, ooh, terrible. So, uh, yeah, it's like a workplace comedy, but it's super inside baseball on filmmaking. And this will get canceled immediately. If it stays like this, this sucks. I, I can't describe it any better or worse than that. I do not, it's not, I did not laugh once. Not even once. And I will talk about Sam Mendes. Mendes, Oscar winner. I don't understand wh what the point of this is. Like corporate meddling and creative backlash and you you're literally talking like it's just it's ridiculous. There's nothing funny about it. HBO remembers owned by Warner Brothers Discovery and they have their own franchise. Yeah, well they made it that way because it's ridiculous. Uh, they, you know, because they're gonna go back to days. David Zaslav nuking Batgirl for the tax write-off, release the Snyder cut, all that stuff. So, uh, why the franchise and why now? This this article writes a cynical dressing down of. It's almost as if they made a movie or a show about how much they hate Marvel movies, because there's a big thing with directors that they hate these they hate these movies and what they're going to show you is that the movies aren't really directed by the director the director just kind of exists and what is really done is it's handled by the first dire assistant director and the second assistant director and the third assistant director and they do all the heavy lifting while the you know prima donna directors don't do anything there's no vision behind it you know and uh i just no one cares about the inner workings of marvel or anything like that and nobody cares about 
these you know prima donna actors fighting with each other it's just it's just not funny you know and they're saying how it's clearly modeled after kevin feige of marvel studios so i'm just i'm just not feeling it at all i could be totally well i'm not totally wrong i, I 100 no one will watch this oh the movie or the show i was thinking about was avenue nine with hugh laurie that was similar to this and that's what I thought I would I would get was this kind of like this interesting uh, black comedy, but uh, with a really fun cast. And this is just no, not at all. In fact, like the costumes look terrible, and the uh, the sets look terrible, and the extras look ridiculous. Like the, the if you're gonna spoof something. Either go full spoof or go like go half like it's just it's it looks ridiculous and it doesn't even look it looks like they're trying to do a B movie not like a real a real franchise so then we get another one of these where it's like uh Fr Sam Mendes told two MCU directors to tune in and have a laugh ha 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 great HBO spoof premiere uh yeah it's garbage. This is just terrible. And there's good actors in it, but no. Not uh, not interested. It's just bad. Not funny. They try real hard to make like funny things. Uh you know, Sam Mendes directed the pilot. I didn't think it was particularly well directed either. You know? I thought it was just like it's almost mean-spirited in its spoof. Like it's one thing if they made fun of it, I'd be okay with that. But this is just, it's just mean-spirited. And even if you don't like what's going on with Marvel now, it, do, it doesn't feel like you should roll around in Marvel's demise just because you're Sam Mendes and uh, they don't, he, he doesn't get to direct any superhero movies because guess what? They pay real good, dude. Like, what have you done recently? So Sam Mendes said, I'm a big fan of the Russo brothers who directed four MCU movies, you know, only one of the biggest movies of all time, right? And I was talking to Joe Rooster the other day, and he's like, I recommend you tune in and have a larf. First of all, he ain't laughing. He ain't laughing at all. Director of two James Bond films, right? Uh, pretty sure, you, I know he did Skyfall, which I like, but don't love. Uh, he did 1917, never watched it. Uh, Road to Perdition's just okay. Revolutionary Road's just okay. Uh, here's all the movies directed that I was looking at here. Um, let's see. Anything interesting? His average score is like somewhere in the sixes, high sixes. But the Penny Dreadful, Shrek the Musical. Yeah, I, I care about that. The Kite Runner, which is based off that, that, that book. But just nothing like stands out that makes me go, oh, he did Spectre, which sucked. So congratulations, you did one good James Bond, Bond movie and then one that basically killed the franchise. A 6.8 there, Chief. You know, he's a mediocre director. American Beauty, good movie, not great. Jarhead, not a great movie. Road to Perdition, not a great movie. Just, you know, he's just pretty mediocre as far as I'm, I'm going to go. And uh, I don't know what he won an Academy. I guess he won, oh, he won an Academy Award for American Beauty 30 years ago. Congratulations there, Chief. 25 years ago, I'm sorry. So... Not, I, I just don't see why he should be spitting hot fire at anybody. And I'm not even defending the Marvel movies. Like, they're garbage right now. The, what was the last good Marvel movie other than, you know, Dead, Deadpool and Wolverine was fine, but I wouldn't exactly call it a great movie. We're not talking about, like, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier or anything like that. And we all know the problems with DC. DC. It just seemed like somebody was real angry about not getting a job or not being appreciated for what he did. So... I don't know, mean-spirited, not funny, and uh, I don't like it, so I don't recommend it. I can't recommend it at all. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. I got to clear my head now, but uh, I am on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.